hey folks welcome to the channel like i always say i appreciate everybody uh reaching out and uh the support here on the channel feel free to like share and subscribe to this uh, content guys i build this like i say each and every time for folks just like you and i wait till driven mindset to help each other get there uh, a little bit quicker and the right procedure today what we're going to talk about guys is when do you start going in and doing what i'm doing here pulling pulling cameras and painting some things out and and uh, getting a game plan on your habitat season. When do you go in and do that? So what I like to do guys is this, uh, I was reached, I'll start with this, I was reached out to last year um, by a couple of uh, clients that were had, had some concerns and they, they weren't upset with the consultant that they hired, but they were kind of frustrated, frustrated and asked my opinion of what happened. Uh, the consultant told them that he was gonna be in the area, it was right before the holidays, their gun season was still open um, and he said, you know, that was fine. Well, he came in, did their design, and within within a week, uh, both of their, they bumped both of their target bucks off. This is two different stages, two different clients. Bumped their target bucks off. They were killed on the neighbors because the gun season was still open. Um, moral of the story is this. That's where money comes in to play is uh, I would have advised to wait until after your gun season was done. Um, you know, the 2850 where my packages are right now, guys, is not, uh, that's not the that's not the moral of the story for you guys when, you know, if we get there and we bump deer out uh, of a deer that you've been maybe pat passing on for a couple of years, right? That's not, that's not the, the point. The point is, is to make it happen. You've got plenty of time to, to bring that property to the surface, correct things that you needed corrected that should never have happened. But, the, you know, money is root of all evil, right? So, um, it's a sad deal, uh, you know, but I would recommend, guys, that's a huge thing. Short video here today, but that's a, that's a huge deal that I would put some thought into. Um, just doing exactly what I'm doing today. Uh, we're going to try to slide out of here. This this uh, spot, the farm here in Kentucky, guys, our gun season, our last gun season would have been our um, muzzleloader season. Our modern gun ended, it ended uh, November, and then we had our late muzzleloader season here in Kentucky which is uh, the 10th through the 18th of December this year so um, and I had some friends in hunting during the muzzleloader season and excuse me and I, th I wanted to wait till that happened anyway you know um, so but if that wouldn't have been the case guys if I wouldn't have had hunters in you know I've got a short window here to get my stuff done before I get on the road for client trips and I still would not have you know, I still would not have went on my own property and, you know, uh, you know, had the risk of bumping something off. Not that I don't want the neighbors to be successful. That's not the point at all. Um, but when you're a private landowner and you put as much in to your property as I know you do because, you know, what I know I put into mine. Um, I've got a couple of, you know, neighbors that wouldn't mind, you know, if they went over, they're still hunting. I've got a couple of neighbors that are um, you know that are tagged out, but that's not the point. The point is this is the point is It's hard to advance age structures. It's a, it's hard to you know know what to do and And kind of how to do that if you don't know what deer You know the history that you had with deer from this year if their deer are gone, you know a lot of that plays into your habitat improvements, right? So I would do this guys um, I would definitely one uh, get off the couch, stop eating the little Debbies like I should have a long time ago <laughs> during the during the season. And it's not going to get any better going into the holidays, going up to spend a couple days with the kids and the family. And that sounds great, right? But I'm going to be filling my face with beverages and little Debbies and Christmas cookies, right? But all in no, you know, all the joking aside, guys, is this. Um, just err on a side of caution with that one. Like I said, if you reach out to somebody and they say, yep, I can be there and I don't, it doesn't matter if your gun season going on or not. 
I, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, now, if you don't have any shooters on the property, you haven't seen deer in months, maybe that's not a bad thing, right? If you get in and get started to correct it. But if you are somebody that is on and you're just looking for tweaks and you're looking to make a good situation better, err on a side of caution. Um, because like I said, to me is maybe, maybe I get started a little bit later than, than other consultants on the, you know, the road. But, um, if I do have, and some of my Southern clients, um, you know, are, I'm, you know, I've got, I've only got so many, so many months to get the stuff done. Right. So, um, my Southern clients, your season is so long down there and it's later than ours. Uh, I leave that up to them. You know, I say, Hey, here's the deal. You know, I'm going to be this year, February, Mississippi. Um, you know, I think the season is just ending when we get there. So always leave that up to them guys, but I try to do whatever I can do. Uh, just remember and to not, not have that happen. Just remember guys, find somebody that's considerate about you and your needs and your property. That's half the battle, right? And then the other part of it is finding someone that has been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. And like I always tell everybody, guys, I'm not, I'm not the greatest thing in the world. Don't get me wrong. And, and I'll never, you know, I always get accused of maybe not promoting myself strong as I should, but I believe in the service that I have. And, and I also believe, I know what it takes to get those age, those deer to that age structure. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to bump them off just to, uh, just to help, you know, give somebody a couple thousand dollars to come in and, and design your property right so um air on the side of caution guys we are out today collecting cards and our cameras and um pulling stuff out of the woods leaving all my feeder uh, cameras going my mineral sites are all going to still be active but i'm uh pulling the rest of them and getting ready to get on the road here so as far as clients holiday weekend this upcoming weekend merry christmas to each and every one of you out there tuning into this i, sh I surely appreciate you guys i hope you know that uh sure means a lot surely blessed for sure so uh, i hope you take that to heart because boy i sure do standing up here on a hill like today with the sun out and a good lord giving me an opportunity to even bring this stuff to you guys i don't take any of it for granted i sure feel blessed to be able to this and i try not to ramble on these videos guys but sometimes i can do it now you kind of get in a get into a spot where you know i just don't have a lot of time to say everything that you need to say right but most important thing is on these videos guys is do your best do what you feel is right have somebody in your corner and hope it, you know hopefully that's me help you get to the finish line i surely appreciate you guys merry christmas from central kentucky